Hey everybody, this is Ryan. You guys are watching Sailing Freestyle, and this is Sailing Week. All right, yeah, this is uh, a week that I officially dubbed sailing week. I took it off from work so I could get as much sailing done as possible. Um, so here we are, Sunday, first day of vacation. Um, I actually wanted to go to the Newport International Boat Show, but those fans, plans kind of fell through a little bit. Um, so instead, we're going to spend the day kind of finishing finishing up some last-minute projects here. Um, as you can see, we got the bimini up now. That's awesome. Stern rail is awesome. Rod holders are now installed. That's awesome. Here's something I didn't get a video for either was the rail mounted grill. That thing's awesome. We're going to check that thing out maybe a little bit later. Um, you know, what I'm working on right now is getting the uh, solar pa panel uh, permanently mounted. Um, I think about doing it up on the rail. And that was actually one of the main points of getting that rail. However, um, as with a lot of things, those plans are not panning out exactly the way I expected them to. The panel is just going to take up too much space back there. You wouldn't be able to get um, up and down the swim ladder that easy. So I just don't think that is the best place to put it without going cray cray and building like a whole separate tower. Just like that. And I don't feel like doing that. So instead, we're going to put it on the pop top. Um, and while a lot of people probably say it's not the best place to put it because you could be stepping on it and that kind of thing. I don't know. I think it's out of the way enough. I don't think you're going to experiencing be experiencing anything falling on it and that kind of stuff i'm not too worried about it um and there's really not a whole lot of other options so i got a bunch of these z brackets here that we're going to put on the solar panel and we're going to get that bolted to the pop top there as you can see i do have the um canvas enclosure up because i wanted to kind of test fit that to see if it would still fit on there and I think that it will. Um, obviously, the only downside to that is if you got that pop top cover on there, you ain't getting no sun on your panel. So um, the concept is gonna kind of be to keep the pop top off during the day, and then at night when you're camping out for the night, you can pull the cover back on and um, get the boat all zipped back up to keep all the bugs out and keep it a little bit warmer on the chillier nights and, and that kind of thing. And obviously keep the rain out if it's raining and that sort of stuff. Um, and then when you wake up the next day and, you know, your batteries are a little bit low from having the anchor late and all that kind of stuff out overnight, then uh, you can kind of roll back the, the top. You don't have to take it off all the way. You can just kind of, kind of roll it back a little bit, expose the panel, charge her up, and we'll roll it back when um, your batteries are all charged. Or roll it back when you're going to go to sleep or go in for the night or something. I don't know. Put it back when the sun goes down. How does that sound? So anyways, that is where we're at right now. And that's the project we're working on. Um, yeah. So, well, I don't know. Let's do stuff.
And there you have it everybody, the solar panel is installed. What the hell, that is the loudest bird ever. So the solar panel is installed up there. And the um, pop top cover is on and all is well, so pretty cool, huh? And we got the bimini, it's like this, everything is enclosed now. This is a really nice area to, to hang out when anchored now, pretty cool. All right, officially day two of sale week for sailing freestyle. And it's not looking that great. I just dropped the kids off to school and the plan was to go solo sailing for the first time today. Um, but the, the lake we were going to go to is literally right up the street from the school. And I was going to go there because, you know, if I was needed for anything, literally I would be right down the street from the school. And I could just uh, scoot on over there if need be. Um, so after I dropped the kids off, I shot up to the lake real quick to see what it looked like and there was not a wrinkle on the water that's right there was like zero wind at all um so i hopped on here to check out the wind conditions and it doesn't look like they're gonna get any better so basically my schedule yesterday was supposed to be kind of a uh, last minute um jobs day today was supposed to be solo sale while the kids are in school day tomorrow was supposed to be check out a yacht club day um, on Candlewood Lake. Um, Wednesday was supposed to be a provision day for um, Thursday and Friday. Thursday and Friday, me and my buddy were supposed to head down to Long Island Sound. And then Saturday, we were gonna, uh, I was going to take the kids out somewhere and possibly ask my dad to go out, out sailing with me for the first time. Because he seemed kind of interested in it. So that was the schedule I came up with. And already, those plans are kind of going to crap. So, um... I think we just might switch today and Wednesday, so today we might get all our provisioning done and get ready for um, Thursday, Friday, and then Wednesday, um, we'll just kind of go out on our own before I go out adventuring big time on the big boy ocean Thursday. So, I don't know, let's follow that plan. So let's come up with some things we can get done then today to get ready for the latter part of the week. <music> three of sailing week. We've done no sailing. Uh, yeah, so here it is. Tuesday is now here, and Tuesday's plans just fell through. So, um, knew the weather was going to be crappy, 
so today was going to be a day that we went and checked out this um, yacht club in, on Candlewood Lake. Um, and we are going to go there today because my wife had an appointment in Weathersfield, Connecticut. So, I don't know, we thought we could uh, just swing over there. Um, but as I was thinking, let's go inside. As I was thinking about this whole Candlewood um, Lake thing. I kind of realized that um, in order to, to be on... Hey Alexa, turn on the desk light. In order to uh, be on the water at Candlewood Lake, um, because it's in the state of Connecticut, Connecticut wants you to have a safe boating <coughs> certificate. In order to do that, you need to have you know a bunch of, like a couple of classes or something like that eight hour long classes and so they do have this test uh that you can take to show that you have the experience and you don't need to take these classes but the test itself is 75 dollars and they're only on scheduled days and they're nowhere near my house so i don't know that whole candlewood lake thing is starting to seem kind of like a bigger pain in the butt than um we're looking for so I started digging around more and I got this um, list that I'm putting together here in Google Earth. And I, I'm looking at all of these different marinas um, and mapping them all out. Um, so there's the Candlewood Yacht Club. Um, and there's a couple up here. And that's a really good price though. That's the one attractive part about Candlewood. Um, but there's this one here that we really like. Rondau Yacht Basin. Not a bad price either, sixteen ninety. And um something my wife, she's really into um she wants a place that she can go when I'm not there and not need to go out on the boat. And this place has got like a cool pool and everything. Um so that's something she likes. Uh she can bring the kids swimming there and everything. So uh, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, that's an option we found. So yeah, that's what I've been kind of doing. So anyways, that's kind of where we're at now. Um, just kind of been scoping out these different marinas and all the different options we have. And we decided not to take a trip over to Candlewood because it's pouring rain. And it is um, an hour away from where she has an appointment too. So it would kind of, I don't know, be a long trip for something that we might not even do. So... We're going to do a bunch of research on marinas and that kind of thing, um, compare them all, and then maybe spend another day um, somewhere in the future going to check them all out. Um, so here we are. What is it now? Tuesday? Um, these plans fell through, so now i got to come up with something else to do today. And I think what I'm going to do today is um, really start to come up with a plan for Thursday and Friday's adventure in the Long Island Sound, so um, there's no surprises in I got a good solid. Stop dinging me! Stop dinging me! Um, I got a good idea of what we're gonna do and where we're gonna stay and all that kind of stuff. All right, cool. Yeah, bye. Okay, well, I'm trying to take advantage of this wet weather, and I decided to uh, wipe down the uh, boat, Miss Freestyle, so she is nice and clean for her debut on the salt water. I don't know what else to do here in a rainy day, but I feel like I at least accomplished something. <clears throat> I'm recording. What's up, Logan? Hi. Hi. Ooh, today is Thanksgiving. Finishing up editing this video. I'm full of food and turkey. Just finished up this video, which means now it is time for the what, guys? Facebook fan photo of the day. Hey! Alright, the first Facebook fan photo of the day comes from Jamie Edwards. And Jamie is from uh, London, Ontario. And he has a Rebel 16 that he looks like he's uh, got a nice little heel going on in that photo, sailing around. What do you think, guys, of that picture? Nice. Pretty cool, right? Mm -hmm. 
So, uh, Jamie, thanks for stopping over at the Facebook page and sharing that picture. He was actually one of the first people to go on the Facebook page and share a photo. So thanks a lot, Jamie. We're getting all the old photos up there now. Um, so, yeah. Cool. Thanks for sharing that picture. Bye-bye. All right, now the second Facebook fan photo of the day comes from... Can you read that name? Here, can I read it? Wait, can I um, do the Wayne letter? <laughs> Wayne James. Wayne James. Wayne James. <laughs> also known as Wayne Jennings. Wayne Jennings is um, sharing his photo of his Compact 16. Did also, the Compact 19. Yeah. Wayne's from Richmond, Virginia. Um, he's got uh, some photos of his Compact 16 and 19. Um, now I'm getting nuggies. Uh, Wayne has been sailing since 1963. <laughs> um... All right, I'm getting noogied. Thank you very much, Wayne, for all of your support. Thank you for sharing your photos over on the Facebook page. Uh, happy Thanksgiving to all you beautiful people. All right, guys, that is going to wrap it up for this episode of Sailing Freestyle. Uh, make sure you tune into the next episode because we are getting on the water. Uh, next episode is my first time sailing single-handed, so we're going to give that a, a go. See how I do. Time so bye. Kitchen slot <laughs> way. All right. Make sure you tune in the ep next episode because it's a sailing episode, and then this episode bye. after that will bye. also be a sailing bye. episode. And we're just gonna wrap this up because these kids are being a bunch of knuckleheads, and I need to take a nap for eating all that turkey. Bye. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Bye. Goodbye from Sailing Freestyle. And have bye, a Sailing bye. Freestyle. Bye. Okay, become a patron. Please. Hey guys, if you've been enjoying the Sailing Freestyle channel, please consider becoming a patron by checking out the Patreon page through the links below in the description. Something as little as $1 a month really goes a long way in supporting the channel. And to all my current patrons, thank you guys very, very much. You guys are all awesome. Go away. The camera's on, still on. The camera's still on. Go.